surface of Mars. And this has gotten so bad, now we have the lamestream media. This is up in Canada, Calgary Herald. And they're actively promoting what are essentially dope peddlers. High-level dope peddlers. This would be like a kingpin. University of Lethbridge researcher Igor Kavalkuk is leading a study on medical pot as a potential therapy for the Chinese virus. Cannabis extracts are showing potential making people more resistant to the Wuhan flu, says an Alberta researcher leading a study. No, he's a drug kingpin. After sifting through 400 can cannabis strains, researchers at the University of Lethbridge are concentrating on about a dozen that show promising results in ensuring less fertile ground for the potentially lethal virus to take root, said biological scientist Dr. Igor Kavalkuk. A number of them have reduced the number of these virus receptors by 73%. The chance of getting in is much lower, said Kavalkuk. I'm sorry, I'm losing it, folks. I am really losing it. Now we have drug kingpins touting their product as a means for curing the Chinese virus, Wuhan flu, whatever you want to call it. I started writing Wuhan flu because it was shorter and easier. But either way, I don't care. It will take a long time to find out what the active ingredient is, or maybe many, said Kavalkuk whose Pathway RX is owned partly by Old Space licensed cannabis producer Sundial Growers and partnered with Alberta cannabis researcher Swish. So we're, here we have drug kingpins. They're taking things over. And we're being told, stay at home. Wear our masks and get stoned on pot. And everything will be alright. And collect your government money. I wonder, you know, this is Canada, I realize, but it won't be long before this gets to uh, the United States. It's no wonder we're falling apart. We have drug dealers and uh, drug kingpins ruling the roost. I'm sorry, I can't deal, folks. I can't deal. I, you know, I don't get into the hydroxychloroquine and that other one, the resveratrol or whatever it is, something I can't really pronounce. I don't get into that because I don't know anything about it. And I'm not going to tell anybody other than, you know, you have to stay away from sick people, people sick with the Wuhan flu, obviously. You don't want to catch it. It's uh, pretty nasty, from what I understand. But I will not stand silent while a bunch of drug dealers, essentially, are telling us, we're going to rescue you. Stay at home, smoke your doobie, wear your mask. Get stoned out of your bone and collect those government, that government money. Screw you. Screw your whole dr drug operation. Screw drug dealers and screw the mainstream media. Calgary Herald is part of the mainstream media. Screw them too. This will be down here for you, you know it. I, I'm sorry, folks. I can't deal. I can't deal. No, don't touch marijuana. It's dangerous. It screws up your head. It screws up your lungs. Don't touch it. I'm Artifacts Mars. 
shaking my head here in sunny western New York, where spring has finally arrived, a couple of months late, well, a month and a half late. But I have returned to work, so my internet ventures will be a little less frequent. But other than that, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Have a good day.